Hey, what is up everyone, I am Devon Cringe, and today it is time for a little bit of speculation about the future of Cartoon Network. Though it is currently the month of September, you know, 2018 is coming to a close, so a lot of stuff has been happening with Cartoon Network as of late, the biggest one being the end of Adventure Time. Yes, everyone, the awesome show that kicked off the very well-known CN Renaissance era and basically kicked Cartoon Network in the ass and showed them how it's done. It has finally come to a very, uh, very uh, nice and conclusive close, and of course the second one being Cartoon Network UK celebrating its 25th anniversary, yes everyone, 25 years of Cartoon Network, and all we have now is to speculate about the future, yes, in 2019 Infinity Train will actually be coming onto the network, so a lot of people are actually speculating as to what the new era of Cartoon Network is gonna have in store, uh, especially, you know, in comparison with the current era that's running now, with uh, really good shows like OKKO okay Let's Be Heroes, uh, We Bear Bears, and of course uh, even Unikitty, which is actually a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice uh, comedy show. It, uh, it really doesn't push itself too far and all that. It really does have a nice vibe going on. But also we have a lot of bad shows such as Teen Titans Go and uh, the uh, Papa Girls 2016 reboot. Uh, some people are worried, but I actually want to, uh, you know, to be on the positive side and say Infinity Train is basically going to be. Uh, going to be like the flagship of the new era. I'm basically gonna say that, you know, go out on a limb and say that when the episodes of Infinity Train start rolling out, uh, Cartoon Network is gonna see that uh, story-driven cartoons are more successful and all that stuff, as well as we can see with other networks such as, you know, uh, Gravity Falls and of course Star vs. the Forces of Evil, which is still going on. Those are story-driven cartoons, they have like a really uh, thought-out plot lines, you know, well-thought-out character development and a great world building, you know, Cartoon Network is gonna see that that is what really sells, you know, it doesn't just, uh, it isn't just something that's awesome for the kiddies, but it's also really good for, like, the older, you know, either teen or adult viewing audience. I definitely do believe that Cartoon Network will see the, the uh, success in that, you know, they will see the quality of the writing, uh, they will see uh, that uh, they probably should start catering more, catering more towards uh, shows with ongoing storylines and well-grounded uh, character development. And I really am happy that uh, Infinity Train is actually coming out when it is. I mean, uh, like a lot of you that have been watching my channel, you know, for quite some time, remember my uh, first video on uh, Infinity Train and when the pilot was aired on CN. But unfortunately, they ended up putting it in uh, what's called the graveyard, uh, graveyard airing hour, or something like that. I don't know the actual term uh, for it, but uh, they basically put it in the time frame when uh, not a lot of kids are going to be watching it because it's too early and all that. So, but uh, thankfully, uh, thankfully they got their heads out of their asses and they greenlit the show. It's going to be on in 2019. I'm honestly stoked about the uh, about the future. You know, I wanna I wanna stay positive and think that a uh, Cartoon Network will definitely get out of that rut because uh, even though even though the current era of CN shows aren't really anything to uh, you know to anything right home about it is uh, definitely leagues better than what it was in the uh, mid 2000s dark ages I do think the Cartoon Network has learned their lesson uh, from uh, the Re Renaissance era in terms of, uh, you know, we need to focus more on uh, shows that uh, have more quality to them than cheaply uh, cheaply uh, shoveled out Flash animations than what they did with the mid-2000s. I do think that the future of CN is actually looking pretty bright, and uh, I do uh, believe that uh, Infinity Train will be the uh, flagship, you know, the one that uh, kicks off the new era, just like Adventure Time did in uh, 2011. And uh, now that Adventure Time actually did end, you know, people are looking to something new, something uh, that's, uh, that basically strikes a chord, you know, kind of like Adventure Time, that has the degree of creativity uh, that's been put into the writing and the world building. And I'm also pretty sure that a lot of you longtime viewers of mine uh, definitely remember how I said that uh, Infinity Train kind of sort of reminds me of a uh, Galaxy Express 999 with the whole uh, trains, you know, going through uh, going through space and you know, different worlds and all that stuff. Uh, I am pretty excited for it, and I'll definitely be tuning in to see... Uh, to see the, uh, you know, episodes roll out, you know, boost up the ratings and all that, and I hope you will as well. I hope you're all excited for the new new era, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much, uh, pretty much all I gotta say right now. I will be covering, you know, future, future news about the new shows that will be coming out. Anyway, everyone, thank you all so much for watching, be sure to subscribe and press the bell icon, and if you wish to support me in a different way, my Patreon link is in the description below, and as always, I'm Demon Grinch, and I'll be seeing you guys and else in the next video.